Watertown is asking New York State for help with the eclipse crowd expected April 8th in the city. More than 100,000 people could come to or drive through the city to watch the event. Remember, Watertown is in the path of totality. We learn more, including the city's costs, with 7 News reporter Thomas Caffarella. City streets are quiet now, but April's total solar eclipse might make using the roads in Watertown a little more difficult. We started understanding that there's going to be a significant number of people coming from outside of the area. City officials are preparing for as many as 175,000 visitors. Months of preparation has soothed many concerns that Wagonar has had. Still, he wants help from the state to ensure things go smoothly. I put a request in for some National Guard support. Um, through the New York response. Indications are that that may not come to fruition. A governor spokesperson tells 7 News the state is currently working with Watertown on the eclipse readiness plan. Most of the crowded streets in Watertown will be people trying to get into Thompson Park to see the city plunged into darkness for three minutes and 39 seconds. And the city is preparing for big numbers by upping the eclipse budget. The biggest cost is making sure that we're safely offering an event that is enjoyable for people and stressing on that word safely. $123,000, the new amount the city expects to spend in preparation for the eclipse, up from the 5000 that was originally allocated in the preliminary phases of preparation. But a large percent of the budget isn't going to the event itself. About $50,000 of that $100,000, $123,000 is what we are going to estimate for overtime for fire, police, DPW, and city services. All in an effort to make sure that when the lights go dark, tourists and locals have a safe experience. Thomas Caffarella, 7 News.